Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone, or afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Spilling Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels, and we're going back to, once again to the Disability Day of Mourning Memorial list, those who were murdered by their caregivers, siblings, and significant others for being disabled. We're going to go through the disclaimers here and just get straight to it. In the description box, you're going to see the article that the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read. It's written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by autistics for autistics, wherein they interviewed and surveyed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. Matter of fact, the JRC doesn't want you to read this article so much They have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they did not remove it from the website. Neuroclastic has refused, so you know the drill, folks. Please read that article and share it on all your social media. We also have linked in there Neuroclastic's public statement regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to their GoFundMe. We are crowdfunding folks in case the JRC has the balls to see through with their threat. We also have linked in there the Ozarks First article in regards to Agape Boarding School, now known as Stone for Help Boarding School. This is a so-called Christian-themed boarding school based out of Stockton, Missouri, that takes in so-called troubled male teens that has impending over 21 civil lawsuits, claims, and allegations leveled against it. All these claims and allegations have been substantiated by the hard evidence gathered by the Missouri Department of Social Services, and they include the following. Sodomy, rape, sexual assault, child abuse, psychological and emotional abuse, child trafficking, starvation, and that's just for starters. You have one former staff member arrested by the FBI. Another, a doctor who's still on the premises with full access to the boys up on multiple substantiated claims of sodomy, rape, and sexual assault of the boys there. You have an attorney general too busy persecuting innocent people to actually give a shit about the pedophiles here and what they get away with. And you've got a governor who's just off his nut. So please share that article on all your social media platforms. We got the other pertinent links to the Stop the Shots campaign, including Autistic Coya's massive archive on the subject. Jennifer Masamba's behavioral sheet of shockable offenses. A clip out of the seven-hour ordeal undergone by Andre McCollins back in 2002. The templates and the ever-present self-explanatory change.org shut the Judge Rotenberg Center down petition. When we did this, well, we're not getting into that because we're not discussing the JRC today. But trigger warning, folks. We are going through the memorial for our disabled dead. Many of them very viciously murdered. And you will hear disturbing details of what happened to them. If you have children who are 16 and younger, at the very, very least, parental supervision is very much advised. Now let's go where we left off before last time. The next is an unidentified 70-year-old man. Ranamalana, Western Province in Sri Lanka, aged 70, of course. September the 1st, 2022. Cause of death, beaten. Disability, bedridden. This man's son was arrested after having allegedly beat him to death and injured his wife. His son has been arrested. My God. Yatming Le, Kowloon, Hong Kong, China. Aged Five, September the 2nd, 2022. Cause of death, beating. Disability, developmental disability. Yat Ming was found dead, his body covered in bruises. Xing Tai Lai, mother charged with murder. His aunt charged with child neglect. Ernest Cena Sr., Albuquerque, New York. I'm sorry, Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, aged 62, September the 4th, 2022. Cause of death, gunshot. Mobility appeared, one arm paralyzed. Ernest's son allegedly shot him in the chest while visiting him to help him. 
shop for groceries. Police say Ernest's son, after he was arrested, admitted that this wasn't the first time he had pointed a gun at his father. Jesus Christ. Ernest A. Cena, Jr., son, charged with murder. Louise Nash, Great Waldingfield, Suffolk, England, UK, aged 12, September the 8th, 2022. Cause of death, stabbed, disability, autism. Louise and her mother, G. Lou, lived in Suffolk, where Louise attended a special needs school. Louise's parents lived in India, and mother and daughter sometimes went to visit them. They were well known to the neighbors who remembered them always waving from their car when they drove past. Someone called the authorities, worried about Louise and Jilu, and police went to check on them. They found Louise and Jilu dead, a gas leak in the home, and Louise's father, badly injured and immediately taken to the hospital, who they suspect is responsible for the killings. The neighborhood had to be evacuated while the gas leak was repaired, but no one was hurt. Peter Nash, father, charged with murder. Jason Runyon, Boone County, West Virginia, USA, aged 48, September the 12th, 2022. Cause of death, gunshot, disability, bedridden. Jonathan was shot by his mother in a murder-suicide. Tammy Runyon, mother, deceased. Federico Mendez, Leeds, England, UK, aged 10, September the 15th, 2022. Unpacified homicide, cause of death, disability, autism. Federico was called by his mother in a murder-suicide. Dahlia Baptista, mother deceased. Sandeep, Vettor, Kerala, India, aged 47, September the 24th, 2022. Cause of death, stabbed, disability, epilepsy, bedridden. Sandeep's brother came home and allegedly stabbed him as he lay sleeping in bed. Jesus. The nurse caring for Sandeep heard the commotion and took Sandeep to the hospital, but his injuries were not survivable. Police say that Sandeep's brother confessed explaining that he had killed his brother because he could not take care of him. Sandeep worked at Indian Railways. Case status, Sandosh, brother charged with murder. Andreas Herates, Bronx, New York, New York, USA, aged 37, September the 25th, 2022. Blunt trauma. Beating, Bronx, New York. Diabetes received disability assistance. Andreas, who lived with his boyfriend, was beaten to death in his own apartment, possibly with a hammer. His boyfriend was arrested on suspicion of murder. Neighbors remember him as a good community man, kind and helpful, willing to pitch in to keep their building clean. Felix Perez, boyfriend charged with murder, manslaughter, and criminal possession of a weapon. Joshua Durgett, Uguna, Sydney, New South Wales, Australia, aged 18, September the 26th, 2022. Cause of death, malnutrition, disability, autism. Joshua's body was found in his home. He had not been taken to the doctor despite his declining health, and his mother said she had given him only bread and soft drinks to eat. Joshua had been kept in a house with windows covered and had not been allowed to attend school. Kitty Javanska, mother, charged with manslaughter. Shanice Watts, Laurel, Mississippi, USA, aged 34, October the 5th, 2022. Cause of death, unspecified, special needs. Shanice's body was found in her home. She had been dead for six months or more. Her mother was arrested and charged with murder. Phyllis Watts till her mother charged with murder.
Mae Brown, Bronzeville, Chicago, Illinois, USA, aged 87, October the 15th, 2022. Cause of death, beating. Disability, disabled, elder wheelchair user. Mae was found beaten to death in her apartment. Earlier the same day, police had been called to her apartment twice, first by her daughter who accused her of stealing her disability payments, and then by May, who told police her daughter would not leave her apartment. Police arrested May's daughter, who say they returned after being forced to leave and beat her mother to death. Shirley Gaines, daughter, charged with murder. Matthew Stedman, Elyria, Ohio, USA, age 34, October the 15th, 2022. Age of death, 92, disability, chronic illness wheelchair user. Oh God, there's multiple. Lisa B. Stedman, 60, chronic illness. Matthew Stedman, 34, disability autism. Cause of death, gunshot. Elyria, Ohio. After a man called 911 saying he had killed his family was going to kill himself, police responded to his address and found the whole family shot dead. Matthew, the youngest at 34, was autistic. His mother, Lisa, 60, and grandmother, Bernadette, had chronic illness. They had been all killed by their caregiver who died by suicide before police arrived. The family lived in a quiet mobile home park, well-liked by their neighbors, one of whom says she used to call Bernadette Grandma. The family had recently added a ramp to their home so that Bernadette and Lisa could maneuver in and out of the home more easily. James Stedman, son, husband, and father deceased. 15-year-old boy, Brownsville, Texas, USA, aged 15. October the 17th, 2022. Homicide, disability autism. This 15 year old boy who cannot be named because his parents have not been located was staying with his aunt and uncle when he was found dead. When authorities saw marks on his body, his aunt and uncle were arrested and charged with murder. Julia Alexandria Brewington, aunt charged with murder. No Garza, uncle charged with murder. Rebecca Garza, grandmother, charged with failing to report a felony. Hunter Drew, Mount Auburn, Illinois, USA, aged 3, October the 20th, 2022. Cause of death, traumatic injury, disability, developmental delay, chronic illness. Hunter had gotten into a scuffle with a sibling with his father's girlfriend allegedly grabbed him, threw him so that his head hit a hard object, and then drove him around to her car for three hours while he died of a head injury. Hunter loved motorcycles, trains, race cars, and big loud trucks. Case status, Ashley N. Bottoms, father's girlfriend charged with involuntary manslaughter and child endangerment causing death. Kenan Cutie. Palakkad, Kerala, India, aged 39, August, sorry, October the 21st, 2022. Cause of death, throat cut. Disability, diabetes, leg ulcers. Kanan's father killed Kanan, then himself. Neighbors said Kanan's health had been deteriorating. They believed that Kanan's father was tired from taking care of him. Alakrishman, father deceased. Hayden Gareffa, Edensburg, Pennsylvania, USA, aged 19, October the 22nd, 2022. Cause of death, stabbing. Disability, autism. Hayden went missing and two days later was found dead in a wooded area near his home. Court documents state that he had gotten into a fight with his cousin over his cousin's girlfriend and his cousin told his sister that Aiden would be dead by the end of the day. Then his cousin and eight other people allegedly kidnapped Aiden, took him into the woods, and beat it, stabbed them to death. Isaac Joel Buxy, cousin, charged with conspiracy to commit kidnapping and first-degree kidnapping. Summer Isabella Sedemeyer, charged with conspiracy to commit kidnapping and first-degree kidnapping. Mia Shea Catafano, charged with first-degree kidnapping. Terrell Nashville Edwards, charged with first-degree kidnapping. 
Thomas Allen Rivera, charged with first-degree kidnapping. Jesse D. Lee Wadsworth, charged with first-degree kidnapping. Thesan Garcia Alvarez, charged with first-degree kidnapping. Unnamed 14-year-old girl, charged with first-degree kidnapping. Eleven-year-old boy, Marseille, France, aged eleven, October the twenty-ninth, twenty twenty-two. Cause of death: stab wounds, head injury, disability, autism. This eleven-year-old boy's mother told the police she had lost sight of him and he had gotten lost. But the next day, his body was found on the banks of a river. He had been murdered. Police who suspected his mother of killing him arrested her and soon reported that she admitted to killing her son because she couldn't deal with him anymore. His mother, aged 39, arrested. Turuku Fujiwara, Oisao, Kanagawa, Prefecture, Japan, aged 79, November 2, 2022. Cause of death, drowning, wheelchair user. Miss Fujiwara's husband had been her caregiver for 40 years since she was injured and started using a wheelchair. He allegedly took her to the pier and pushed her out of her wheelchair into the ocean where she drowned. Police say he admitted to the murder, saying he was worn out from looking after her. Hiroshi Fujiwara, husband, charged with murder. All right, folks. We're going to stop here for this video. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So please don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time. As always, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. I'll see you next time.